Hello everyone, this is Chase Crispin, and I am here to present a getting started guide for a very exciting product from the American Printing House for the Blind in Orbit Research. This is the Orion TI-84 Plus Talking Graphing Calculator. And what this is, is the very popular standard Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus Graphing Scientific Calculator that is used in many classrooms and businesses all over the world coupled with a special device that is connected to this calculator when it is shipped to you called the Orion that enabled this very powerful and very popular calculator to provide speech output to blind and visually impaired students, professionals, and teachers. The biggest advantage to this device is that it is the standard TI-84 Plus calculator with speech output. When a blind student is in class with other students using the Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus, the blind student is able to use any instructions provided to any user of this calculator in the classroom because this calculator, it is the standard calculator but with speech output. So it works exactly the same way as a standard TI-84 Plus without speech output. This is very useful in a classroom where teachers don't have to find special instructions for the blind student using a different calculator. This calculator supports everything from the most basic addition, subtraction, etc. up to trigonomic, statistics, graphing, calculus, all these different types of functions that you will need through high school, college, and even in the professional world. So it is a very nice tool to finally have access to this powerful of a graphing calculator with speech output and be able to use it in the same way as your sighted coworkers and classmates. I currently have the Orion graphing calculator sitting on the table in front of me, and as you can see, this is a pretty large calculator. It is made up of two parts, the standard TI-84 Plus unit located closest to me where all of the buttons are located as well as the flat LCD screen, and above this you have the Orion unit made by APH that allows the device to speak what is on its screen and this has a few buttons but not as many as the calculator. To put this device in its proper operating position you will want to keep the calculator towards you with all the buttons and keep the Orion unit with the ports facing away from you and obviously make sure the buttons are face up. When you first get your calculator, you will need to put the batteries into the TI-84 Plus calculator. So I'm going to flip my device over. Now there are two different batteries within this device. The TI-84 Plus calculator itself runs on four AAA batteries. The Orion unit that sits on the top of the calculator, the unit that produces the speech output, has its own rechargeable battery but the calculator itself does not power the Orion unit. So you must first put your AAA batteries in the calculator and then charge the Orion unit. So to open the battery cover of the TI-84, I am going to feel on the back of the device for a little lip or a dip in the back of the device, which I have found. I'm going to put my finger underneath and pull towards me and up. The battery cover is now removed. I have my four AAA batteries inserted, but yours may not be inserted. If they are not, put the batteries in there in the normal way that you would insert batteries. Take your battery cover and slide it on by sliding the bottom part of the cover as far towards you as it'll go, and then pressing down on the part away from you until it clicks. You can now flip the device over. In order to receive speech output, you will want to ensure that the Orion part of the device is charged. To charge the device, you need to connect it to the AC wall outlet with the supplied AC charger. I am going to go ahead and plug in the charger to the port on the top of the Orion, the part that's normally completely facing away from you. If the calculator is in proper operating position, this is the large rectangle jack closer to the right. It's not the one on the left. So I'm going to find the cord, which is just a standard USB cord, and I'm going to plug it in to the 
appropriate USB port. You would then connect the other end to a wall outlet and let the calculator charge for around four hours. You may use the calculator while it is charged, and once it is charged, both the TI-84 itself and the Orion unit will provide you for several days of good calculator use, so you really won't have to charge the unit very often. To begin using your Orion TI-84 Plus talking graphing calculator, you'll want to first power on the device. The power key is a kind of round key. It is the leftmost and bottommost button on the device. There are other buttons on the bottom of the device, but the power button is on the very left side of the face of the calculator. When you press this button, power on. Press the second E three times to enter help mode. Home screen. 222. And now we are on the home screen. You hear the device vibrate, which indicates that it powered on. You hear home screen, which tells you you're not in any specific mode, you're just on the general home screen. And you hear that we can press the second key three times to enter help mode, which we are going to do. Help mode allows you to press any key on the TI-84 or the Orion unit, and it will announce to you both the name of the key and its function. The second key is a very important key on the device because it activates a second feature of every other key on the device. The second key is the second to the top button on the top left. So if you feel right below the LCD screen, you'll feel a row of buttons. So you'll want to move to the left as far as you can and move one button down. This kind of oval shaped key is your second key. And if I press it three times very quickly, we hear that help mode is on. We can press this key three more times to exit help mode. Now if I press any key, for example, I'll just press the key opposite of the power on key, which is the enter key. Enter. We just hear enter because that's a pretty self-explanatory key. I'm just going to press some other buttons on here. We're not going to go through today what the buttons do. I'm just going to show you how the help mode works. Cosine. Press key and then enter value. So we hear this is the cosine key. We can press cosine and then enter a value to determine the cosine. Variables. There's the variables button. PRGM. That, opens program editor. that opens your program editor. The key is called PRGM. That's what's actually written on the key. Alpha. Activate alpha function mode. Alpha function mode is, a, is another mode, like second mode, that allows you to activate other functions of buttons because they are aren't enough buttons on this calculator to do everything that it can do, so they have several layers of commands. The key by itself, alpha followed by the key, or second followed by the key. I'll press just a few more keys here. I. Log. There's your log press key. key then enter value. LN. Press key then enter value. And on the opposite side, to the right of the number pad, you have some of your more useful keys that you're going to use all the time. Plus symbol. You have your plus, minus, minus. Symbol, I'm moving from the bottom to the top, multiply, symbol, division symbol, and division. Above and below it we also have enter value, press key, then enter exponential value. the caret key, which calculates exponents, and finally, clear. the clear key, which will clear the screen. Now, I'm not describing today, and this getting started, what all of these keys do. This is just a brief demonstration that you can use the help mode to find out what the function of several keys are. You can also press the second key, followed by any other key. So for example, the, let's say the power key that we found earlier. After you press second, this becomes the simple pi key. So this will describe all of the buttons, including their second and alpha functions. So this is a very good way to explore on your own what the calculator is capable of. To exit this help mode, I'm going to press the second key. Again, the second button from the top on the left side of the calculator, three times. And to power the calculator off, you can press the second key on the left edge of the face of the calculator again, followed by the power key that we pressed earlier at the bottom left edge of the face of the calculator. 
we hear and feel a vibration and hear the device say power off and now the entire system is powered off. We hope you have found this introduction to the Orion TI-84 Plus Talking Graphing Calculator very useful. For me as a student, it has been invaluable to be able to both use this very advanced calculator in my math classes and to be able to use any instructions provided to the rest of the class by the standard math teacher to use this calculator since it works the same. It's a very useful tool for me every single day at school and it will be useful for so many teachers and students and professionals that need a accessible graphing and scientific calculator. This is the Orion TI-84 Plus from the American Printing House for the Blind and Orbit Research.